let's take a bit look at the past and how we even got here in the journey of open social and where it all started, because it started with a person that's also right here. <laughs> it started all with Taco Miesco, which was the previous co-founder. Uh, they were studying industrial engineering together, uh, but they also were working part-time at an agency. Um, and they realized and observed a significant gap in the digital marketing sector. They noticed that many websites uh, were failed to effectively manage UX and UI issues, as well as had an unclear customer journey plans. So this motivated them to start their own company. But also, uh, they wanted to start with a con uh, conversion of optimization of UI and UX, where they started their first web development project, the VMI group, despite having limited knowledge on uh, content management systems in PHP. So they chose to go with an open source a content management system due to OS commerce experience that they've had before. Why did they say like Drupal? Well, with that project, they needed multi-language support, which Drupal also offered. And that was English and Chinese. And uh, that's when all the expansion also happened. They continued to grow, which led to specialization in Drupal content management systems. And they uh, received quite complex projects, quite lengthy projects. Um, and they won a, uh, a new community to develop, a new project, uh, which is a volunteer community for Greenpeace Netherlands using Drupal 6. At, once they developed, it was quite a project, but it had quite a significant impact back in the day. There was a 600% six, a increase in active volunteers, catching also Greenpeace International's attention. Um, with that, they wanted to have also many more sites and many more languages with different Greenpeace um, organizations from different countries. So they needed to, a bit to rebuild as well the platform. So they expanded and rebuilding in Drupal 7 for the multi-domain and multi-language support that they would receive. However, also one of the biggest wins they did in 2015 was that they won the Dutch Interactive Awards with Greenwire Project, which was a great success. So, despite their great success and with uh, Greenpeace as well and getting many more attention from other uh, platforms and projects due to that win, they realized they were quite stressed out from the project-based work. <laughs> there, were, there was also an uptake in cloud and SaaS in general. They were also client resistance to large costs but long deadlines. Um, and there was also the Drupal 8 launch and generally an increase for community software. So they found a solution. I'm sure there was a lot of arguments there, back and forth, uh, and openness to do that. But they decided to develop a new open source Drupal 8 distribution, which uh, would be a SaaS platform, including hosting, maintenance, and support. So they decided that within the next two years, they will downscale Gold Gorilla, which was the name of the agency, and they will transition to a new SaaS company where they decided they first, of course, needed fundraising to do this transition because they, of course, wanted to move all the current people working for Open Social with them. So they decided to do a crowdfunding where they actually raised 210,000 uh, euros, which matched from companies reserved to fund that transition. So they, of course, still had running projects for Google Gorilla that they slowly were going to finish without taking new projects and taking on new projects with the new platform. So why open social? You ask the name, I'm asking. <laughs> well, Taco loves to say the name open social signifies our commitment to open source and open standards, as well as our platform's open capability to integrate with various other platforms such as CRM system. That's a very political way correct to say that and a very official way to say that. I would also say there's many more aspects of why open and why social. We're also very open in our communication. We like to see uh, that we're also very social. We focus on social impact organizations and we're also quite sociable people that really enjoy talking to our clients and really connecting with them. So, now it's time to sassify everything. <laughs> so they began the development of Open Social in 2016, leveraging the Greenwire experience. Um, and they uh, did an initial prototype at DrupalCon where they did a lot of intensive testing, uh, which also catched the eye of a UN and the UNDP where they lost two, uh, where they uh, did the first launch of Open Social with two community projects in 2017. 
So kind of their next plan was now for the upcoming years to solidify that even more. They expanded the platform with new features, with new capabilities. Um, they got more clients as well that focus on community building. Um, they gradually reduced Gold Gorilla's work. And um, then they thought it was time to seek investors in order to expand this even further and move fully into open social. So what happened then? Well, it was the new year of 2020. They're already making plans and trying to look for new investors, but as well trying to expand now open social with a sales team. Funny enough, I was one of these people. I started in January 2020. I was uh, the customer success manager at Women's Social. I've been here, yes, ever since. And uh, it was definitely a great ride. However, two months into my onboarding, the pandemic hit, which was quite interesting, <laughs> going from uh, uh, these two months uh, into staying home the whole time. I think that was interesting for everyone who always works in an office job. So, um, And the pandemic had many downsides. There was a little upside for us, sad to say, happy to say, kind of. Uh, it led to increased demand for open social, which resulted in actually a seed investment and growth. Because in July 2020, Peak Capital and Nimbus Ventures invested $1.25 million into open social. With those, of course, money, we had big plans and big steps to go forward to. Um, however, many changes happened, not just because of the investment, but of course, because of the pandemic. We transitioned into remote working, which actually went quite smooth as if they were ready for it. Um, also, they increased in international hires. So we hired also people abroad who were working remote and um, exp expanding um, our coworkers. Uh, they closed also our largest office in Enschede, but we still have two running offices one at TNW City again in Amsterdam and one in Enschede as well. Um, as well as the company culture a bit evolved, they used to be very much used to seeing each other every day, Wednesday after work beers, which still stayed after now the pandemic is over. <laughs> uh, but the, we really focus on flexibility, so really making sure that all our coworkers have uh, work where how they want to, whether it's at home or from the office, but making sure that we'll always have events and some after work events to connect and stay connected. One of the reasons also we're having this event, right, because we also want to connect connect with our clients a little bit more. And we would like to give also a special shout out to the person that's been there with us since 2015. That's Lambert Solutions. It's, uh, they're based in Ukraine um, and they're still one of the greatest partners to have and to work with. However, of course, it's also a very sad time for them since the evasion of Ukraine was a large part where the Lambert colleagues live and they work from. We always try to continue visiting them and supporting them and giving all the space they need. So we'd like to definitely give a big, big thank you towards that. <laughs> this was also where Taco and Robert, our head developer, they went actually to, in March recently again uh, to Lviv, Lambo. You can see they're visiting them. Also, Taco will tell a little bit more about our initiatives um, and support towards them, uh, but we're very happy to have them still on board as well. We also want to thank, of course, all the organizations and amazing companies that we've been working throughout the years. You have definitely made this all possible. It is why we're also all here today. Some of us have been years with us, some are new, and some might be even who are here with us today. So uh, really a big thank you. We are here for you. This is happening for you. So really, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And we also have a big celebration because we are 15 years of open social since Taco signed this company. Of course, it had went through name changes, agency to SaaS, many changes happened, but we're really celebrating today with you. And also tomorrow, uh, we're having a team building day offsite uh, to celebrate it even further. And uh, also, we'd like to thank one specific person here who has made it all possible, who has been here throughout these 15 years, because that is Taco. Eveline, please come up. We have a big thank you to you, and the stage is yours. Thank you. Yeah.